Hey guys, what's going on? It's been a while. It's been a quite a long while. I think like five months since I sat down here with my mic and recorded the video. But here I am with the video. <laughs> and um, yeah, I just, uh, just built a little something uh, to have in this video. Uh, I just sat down and played around with redstone and I came up with this little I guess uh, uh, this combination lock system for a door and it's inspired by a pin tumbler lock you know the ones that you open with a key like to your house uh, I think I've seen a video uh, that is has the same concept as this I think it was Seth Bling that made it I'll, I'll link it in the description have a look at it um, yeah, so that's what this is inspired from, uh, but it's kind of different. So basically you probably understand how a pin tumbler lock works, it's basically just uh, a bunch of pins and depending on which uh, well position they're in, uh, the lock will either open or not open. So uh, here we will use sand to represent the pins. Uh, the height of the pins, I will say. So we will build our key and uh, we will send it into the system and uh, if it is the right key uh, this door over here, here will open. And uh, <laughs> In the end I'll show you the redstone. I, I'm sure I could make this way more compact but you gotta keep in mind that it's been a while since I did all this and uh, well to quote Mumbo, uh, it's an elephant. Okay, so I'm going to show you how it works now. Um, uh, you put your sand in right here, and I've set uh, a combination for this, uh, which look li looks like this. So this is my combo, this is my key, and we'll try the combination. And we'll send it down and analyze it. And uh, I'll show you that uh, it won't work with another combo, I'll just uh, do a random one. Try it. And we'll send it down, analyze it, and it won't work. Um, and um, so that's basically kind of simple for some people, I guess. Uh, uh, you who know a bit of redstone that it's not so hard actually to analyze some sand um, and see what code it is but the cool thing that I made here is that I have made so you can uh, wait let it open just real fast I made it so that you can uh, make a new combination uh, by just placing sand over here by the way this is Mumbo's door Mumbo's 3x3 vault door I think. A uh, link to that is also in the description. But uh, if I want to make a new combination, uh, let's see, 2, 3, 4, <laughs> let's be creative, 5, and 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. I'll press new combination. The door will lag up a bit, but it's fine. It will open again. But okay, let's see. There we go. And now we'll try out the new combination. So two, three, four, five, and one. And we'll try it. Our new key gets sent down and the door opens. Ah, oh, sweet. So that's pretty cool. Um. Uh, Kind of a simple, uh, simple uh, idea, simple thing. It's nothing too fancy, guys. I know, but uh, I needed uh, something a little nice to show you. <laughs> uh, so yeah, hopefully you liked it. I won't go into too much detail in how this works, but what I will do is show you the redstone behind it. Uh, so this is it. It's pretty huge, <laughs> I guess. Uh, it's just uh, a bunch of uh, AND gates, XOR gates, you know, that deal, much of delays, and yeah, nothing too fancy, but 
yeah, I like this uh, this concept of uh, a code lock, uh, and I know the concept is pretty old and uh, it's been done before, but uh, the new thing that I implemented that you can actually change your combo uh, directly from where you put in the sand. I think that's pretty cool. I don't know what you think, but uh, but yeah, um, the download link will be in the.